the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, dear friends, and I welcome you all to this prayer of time of prayer and adoration. Let us thank the Lord for this wonderful day and offer all the day's activities into his hands. And as we are in the presence of the Lord, let us keep aside all our worries, tensions, sadness, anxiety, and be on our knees to welcome him. Because he is our Lord, who is caring for us, who is supporting us, who is always with us. Let us all be on our knees. All heavens declare the glory of the risen Lord. Who can compare with the beauty of the Glory of the risen Lord, who can compare with the beauty of the Lord? Forever He will be the Lamb upon the throne. I gladly bow. Blessed Sacrament, we praise and thank you and adore you. Dear friends, through the word of God, we know that it is said wherever two or three are gathered in your name, you are there in the midst. Jesus, we believe that you are amidst us, looking at each one of us, and being with us. My dear friends, let us fix our eyes on him because he is communicating to each one of us through the word of God. At the same time, we know when the disciples asked him, where do you live? Jesus said, 
come and see the youngsters as you have come in the morning in his presence to feel him and to be with him it is a blessing for each one of us as the first theme of the day psalm 61:3 says for you are my stronghold a tower against the enemy dear friends one of the greatest love that we can see in the world is the love of the father he has sent his only son to the world to save us from his sins and we know jesus did not come to this world to do his will but to do the will of the father and this can be clearly stated from the word of god from the episode of jesus praying in the gethsemane he prays in this way father if possible take away this cup from me but not my will your will will be done and it clearly gives an indication the intimate relationship between the father and the son dear friends let us take a pause and see how we is our relationship with the lord how it is our communication with the lord going on and as it was mentioned in the psalm jesus is our strong tower who keeps us safe from all our enemies and in the modern world who are our enemies it is not the satan alone our enemies but the world we live is our enemy if we are going astray from the lord because word of god clearly says that the satan the devil is prowling like a roaring lion looking for someone to eat and sometimes man some of us are prone to get into this kind of trap because in the modern scenario the world we live we are prone to fall into the temptations and to the worldly pleasures let us take a moment and ask sorry for those moments if we have failed to be in the presence of the lord and if we want to be protected we need to make jesus as the center of our life if you make jesus as the center of your life everything will be given to you as the word of god says seek the first the kingdom of god and all the things will be given to you and as the second theme of the day psalm 69 66 19 says truly god has listened he has paid attention to my prayers sometimes dear friends we may be thinking why only i have the suffering why only i am not getting any job why only i have all kind of difficulties and obstacles in my life dear friends when these questions come to your mind you should remember the isaiah speaks and says this the god says in this way i have a plan for you and it is not for your destruction but for your well being dear friends when we are faced with the difficulties and challenges we shall remember he is with us who is protecting us from all our enemies at the same time when we are getting protected by the lord there is someone whom you can approach that is none other than our mother mary she is always interceding for each one of us and she is the one who is the mediator who takes all our intercession to the lord we know when jesus was on the cross he looks at the john and says here is your mother by saying so jesus is giving his mother to each one of us to be our mother he she becomes the universal mother and if mother asks something to the son he can't say no and we know from the episode of the the wedding at cana that jesus turns water into wine 
it is with the intercession of the mother mary so dear friends let us also take the intercession of mother when we are faced with the difficulties when we are faced with the obstacles in our life at the same time we have one more person to be carried along to be taken with us it is the jesus has promised of the holy spirit we know jesus when he was going from this world he has said i will send you an advocate who will teach you what is right and wrong and my dear friends in the present scenario as i said in the beginning we may be prone to fall into the temptation of to sin and to go away astray from the lord and when the holy spirit is with us he will guide us he will teach us what is right and wrong dear friends as we are in the presence of the lord let us take a moment and thank and praise him for all the blessings he has showered upon us now let us keep a moment of silence and let us remember those moments where we have failed to make jesus as the center of life now for a minute let us thank the lord let us worship him for all the blessings he has showered upon us hallelujah 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 let us thank him let us praise him and worship him for all the blessings he has showered upon us and let us also ask sorry for those moments where we have gone astray from the lord lord jesus we know that you are present amidst us looking at each one of us and praying for each one of us lord Jesus at this moment we take a moment to pray for various intentions of our youngsters various intentions of our youth lord jesus you know the difficulties and the problems the youth the facing in the present scenario in a special way jesus we pray for all the youth and youngsters who are preparing themselves for different various kinds of examination jesus fill them with the wisdom jesus fill them with your all the kinds of wisdom so that they may able to perform well during this at the same time jesus we also pray for all the people who are suffering from different kinds of sickness that they may be healed by your divine touch that they may be healed by your touch and be able to come back to the normal life same time jesus we also pray for all the people who are working abroad all the people who are abroad or different countries and states for the study purpose and for the job jesus we offer everyone in your hands we offer their difficulties be with them be a comforter in their loneliness be a consoler in their loneliness so that they may able to be in your presence at the same time we also pray for all the youth all the youngsters who are going astray from the loving presence of the lord that they may realize your loving presence and may come back to you as the prodigal son has come back to the father dear lord at this moment we offer all our prayers we offer all our thanksgivings into your hands that we realize you are the one who is looking at each one of us and praying for everyone dear friends at this moment of thanksgiving at this moment of prayerfulness we come before the lord and ask the lord lord where are the moments i have gone astray from you where are the moments i failed to make you as the center of my life i ask you sorry lord and with this contrite heart with this feeling of jesus is with us let us come on our knees for the final blessing
this is the moment of gratitude and thankfulness to the jesus who was with us and now it is the time for your homework we know word of god is like a two edged sword that can pierce into the hearts and does the word of god also keeps us safe and sound from all our difficulties so for you to remember and to keep in your mind the word of god for today is first timothy chapter 4 verse 12 which says clearly what is as youth your responsibility do not let anyone look down you because you are young but set an example for believers in speech in conduct in love in faith and purity and dear friends it clearly says just you are just because you are young let others not look inferior but let them see the goodness in you by the way you live have a nice day